I started two new Clash Royale accounts, spent $1,000 on one, just bought the season pass on the other to see the difference in progress I would make while trying to get to 4,000 trophies on each. On the cheap account, I beat the in-game tutorial, upgraded my cards, and reached level 3. Even though I wouldn't be able to spend any money besides the Pass Royale, I was hoping that the first few arenas would be easy, as there wasn't any specific troops or spells I was forced to use. Or at least that's what I thought would be the case. I wasn't even at 500 trophies yet, and I already had my first super close game. Okay, play your Skarmy. I'm ready. We got it. Giant? Before the goblin cage? Surely? Come on. Come on. Just take it, please. Yes. Come on. Oh, He just needs one more. Come on, please. What is that, dude? As if I lose like that. And the very next game, I forgot about the new balance changes that were added to the game. So I was very surprised when this happened. Oh my god, the prince jumps over the river. I completely forgot about that now. Then after another hour of pushing, I managed to get to a thousand trophies. Oh my god, and of course, thousand trophies. Let's go, Packers Playhouse. And we're an hour and 54 minutes in. On the $1,000 account, this is what our card levels and progress was also at two hours in. Hey, okay, Packers Playhouse. Okay, quarter of the way to level eight as well. Surprisingly, it hadn't taken me that much less time to reach a thousand trophies on the $1,000 account, but that was because I hadn't spent much of the $1,000 yet because I was doing it progressively, spending more and more each arena. But the big difference so far was the card levels and my king tower level due to all the extra upgrades i was doing oh level four let's go and uh, i can open the king's level up chest and we can use magic items now oh i got goblin barrels which are in my deck this is what my card levels are like in my best deck a thousand trophies interesting at this point i decided to buy the pass royale as my only purchase in this run to four thousand trophies i also realized there was a crown rush event on while i was pushing this helped me unlock way more tiers in the pass royale early on and helped me progress through the early stages a bit faster and after opening a few chests this was my deck all right let's buy it. Partial royale time. Okay, there we go. We got musketeers in the chest. Level eight musketeer. Okay, so now this is the deck after a half of the partial royale. Cool. On my cheap account, the next milestone I reached was Spell Valley. Nothing much happened here apart from the ability to unlock a few new cards. Oh, Spell Valley. Let's go. Already. Okay. Two hours and 36 minutes in Spell Valley. Cool. However, reaching Spell Valley on the $1,000 account was very exciting because it meant another $50 was going into the account and the account was slowly getting more and more dominant. Oh, we just reached Spell Valley. Okay, that means a Another 50 purchase was successful. There we go. Another 4,800 gems. All right, let's... You know what? It's worth to start with Goblin Barrel. Uh, oh my god, the wizard has to two-shot the goblins. On the cheap account, I had so many tiers in the Pass Royale that I was able to open because of the Crown Rush event that was going on in-game. But I was holding off opening the Crown Chest and claiming the Wild Cards because I was thinking that if I unlock a good card later on, I want it to be a high level. So then I'll open my Pass Royale Chest for it. But I realized that if I have a solid deck right now, I may as well try and upgrade as much as possible because higher card levels will make trophy pushing so much easier. All right, so far we've unlocked 11 Pass Royale tiers. This is what my deck looks like, the card levels. Now let's open all of them till 21 and see what that looks like. I managed to upgrade minions, zap, musketeer, and goblin barrel. And the level nine goblin barrel upgrade was gonna be so important for me to make progress, especially because it was the last upgrade for level six. Level nine goblin barrel. Oh my God. Yes. And level six. Now we get the king's level up chest. Who would have thought? And I got five skarmies. That's actually in my deck. So three hours into the $1,000 account, I was 600 trophies ahead of the cheaper account already. And I was also using goblin barrel. Now level nine goblin barrel on the cheap account was actually really solid, but I was putting everything I I had into it and getting really lucky with getting them out of chess. Meanwhile, on the $1,000 account, my Goblin Barrel was already level 11 and I was two levels higher at level eight. Ooh, we just got Balloon and unlocked level eight. Okay, that's kind of cracked as well. Level 11 Goblin Barrel. There it is. <laughs> oh my God. At this moment on the cheap account, it felt like my card levels were actually good in comparison to the players I was up against. This was because of the Crown Rush event though, because it meant I was unlocking the partial out tiers much faster. So literally 15 minutes later, I managed to reach Builder's Workshop. Oh, is that Builder's Workshop? I queue so fast, I just miss it. Now you can tell the IQ of my opponents really went up a notch in Builder's Workshop because I misclicked a Goblin Barrel and look what my opponent does here. Look at this Pro Barrel. <laughs> he arrows nothing. That was funny. Then I got my first legendary chest of the challenge. For once, it actually gave me something useful because chip from Goblin Barrels is where I was mostly losing damage. Oh my god, first legendary chest. What am I going to get? I'm guessing it's going to be a princess because I always get trash. Log, who would have thought? Let's go. That's going in the deck. That's actually clutch. Now I can get rid of those skarmies even quicker. And I'm going to take out mini P because I only have big P. My point was literally proven in the first 15 seconds of the very next game. Look already in action. Oh, what a girthy log. A couple games later, I reached Royal Arena in just under four hours on the cheap account. Let's 
go! 2,000 trophies. Let's go. I wonder where I was at. 2,000 trophies are at this time on the uh, $1,000 account. Now four hours in on the $1,000 account, it's interesting because I was pretty much at the same trophy range because I was spending so much time opening chests while I was pushing on the cheap account. And also because I didn't have my Mega Knight high enough to start three crowning as quickly as possible. But that was about to change here because I already completed the partial route without any need for a crown rush event. Yes, let's go. We got the final one and we get the legendary book of cards, which means we can get Mega Knight to level 12. And I decided that on the cheap account, since the deck was doing so well, I decided to unlock the rest of my crown chest from the partial route tiers to upgrade my deck as much as I could. That's actually, you know what? We're committing to this deck. Like, let's claim these. Holy God. Okay, we're committing to this deck. So let's just use all our partial route tiers to upgrade all our cards as high level as possible. I first managed to get my musketeer to level nine. I am going to upgrade the musketeer. Let's go. Musketeer can go to level nine. Cool. And then let's get more rare wild cards. I then used extra wild cards on the goblin barrel, got logged to level 10, and almost got zap up a level two. I still expected the challenge to get a lot harder towards the end as my crown chest and partial royale tiers began to run out. Now we can upgrade goblin barrel. Now we can get logged to level 10. Let's go. I'm going to upgrade zap as well. Oh, can't get it right up to the next level. Musketeer as well. Okay, let's do it. Log level 10. Wait, is that it? Yep. Okay, brilliant. That's up to date. So I only have legit five tiers left in the partial royale. A few battles later, I got to level seven and got really lucky in my level up chest. I managed to get the exact right amount of goblin barrels to get it to level 10, which was a huge upgrade. Is that level seven? Let's go. Level seven. King level up chest. Let's do it. Oh, another wild card. That's cool. Arrows, goblin barrels. Oh, let's go. Level 10 goblin barrel. And I have a book of books, so I could get that to 11 if I don't get 40, which I probably won't, so I probably should, but... I got faith. Because of this, I was able to reach Frozen Peak half an hour later. And a few games after that, I manifested goblin barrels in my epic chest. Oh my god, epic chest. If I get, like, a ton of goblin barrels, this will be the greatest thing ever. Oh, let's go! No way! What? That's so clutch. So five hours in on the cheap account, I was already midway through Frozen Peak. Oh, five hours. Let's go. Poggers. I have no idea where I was at at five hours on the $1,000 account. Now, around five hours in on the $1,000 account was absolute madness. First of all, I'd spent so much money i had to verify my account oh no <laughs> They don't trust me. I'm gonna have to verify my account. All right, hang on. At four and a half hours in, I upgraded my goblin barrel to max level. <laughs> max level 14 goblin barrel. And I am going to use the magic coin to upgrade it. Bruh. <laughs> Already a max goblin barrel. Then by five hours, I'd spent another few hundred dollars, reached 3,000 trophies already, and was able to upgrade my mega knight to max level. Hog mountain. 120. Okay. There we go. Purchase successful. So we get 10 legendaries. 200 epics. Another chest, which is not too cracked. Half a million gold and 14,000 gems. Okay, let's start out by getting Mega Knight to level 12. I mean, to level 13. And then let's use the Book of Cards to get it to level 14. Actually, let me use the Magic Coin. 100,000 gold saved. Level 14 Mega Knight. Level 10, let's go. Oh, that means we get to open another chest. I imagine it's a Mega Knight. Okay. So while I was easily three crowning on my $1,000 account, I finally grinded my way to Jungle Arena on the cheap account and finished the Pass Royale. All right. I gotta use it. Gotta get my log another level. Oh, Jungle Arena. Let's go. Jungle Arena achieved. All right. Shortly after on the cheap account, I had a game in Jungle Arena where my opponent would keep playing cards at unfortunate timing over and over again. This was actually so funny. It's not looking too hot for him. Oh, that is unfortunate, my friend. Oh, that is very unfortunate for you, Hermandra. Oh, oh my, that has got to hurt in the morning. Every single card he played, I just played the counted card. However, on the cheap account, Jungle Arena was already proving to be difficult. There were a bunch of really close games, and I barely managed to come back in this one. Split lane. No one saw it coming. Least of all me. Surely we outcycle him here. We did. Success. Go. Let's go. Meanwhile, things were very different on my $1,000 account. So I have my two level 14 cards in my starting hand. Like, that's a wrap. I'm just better than him. Once again, only a couple of games later, there was a really close game. Luckily, I managed to make a clutch comeback because Panji thought he was better than he was with a prediction that actually choked him the game. No, I didn't mean to play Skarmy. Oh no, I didn't realize the Dark Prince was alive. Panic. 
I'm going to lose this because he has counters. Okay, that's it. We need something magical to happen here. Oh, he tried to predict it. Go, 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 go. Damage. Keep going, keep going. More. Kill him. One more. Let's go. What a comeback. So after the long jungle arena grind, I finally reached 3,000 trophies six hours in. I was three quarters of the way on the cheap account, and I was almost an hour behind the $1,000 account. That, my friends, is 3,000 trophies. Let's go. Six hours in. So, so by six hours in on the $1,000 account, I'd spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars, reached 4,000 trophies so quickly that I decided to go for 5,000 trophies, and was three crowning so fast that I was two hours ahead of the current world record. Let's go. I just got 4,000 trophies. I didn't even realize. On the cheap account, I hadn't upgraded any of my cards in ages, and I realized that I wasn't going to be able to upgrade my Goblin Barrel again before I reached 4,000 trophies, so I decided to use my book of books that I got from the last tier in the past royale on Goblin Barrel to make it even more overleveled. All right, I'm using my book of books to get Goblin Barrel to level 11. Screw it. Goblin Barrel, level 11. Let's go, baby. And four epics. I guess we'll put him into Packer. Legendary. May as well put into Log. Book of Res. Musketeer's going up another level. Cool. Let's upgrade that. Nice. Lovely. That is all my wild cards used. And then out of nowhere, I got a magical chest from my chest cycle and somehow actually got something good from it. Oh, magical chest. Let's go. We can use the key. Let's go. Magical chest. Key to unlock it. Come on. Give me something good. Uh, oh, okay. What's this? Uh, that could work. It's level nine, so I don't know. Instead of minions, may as well. Okay. So I put Inferno Dragon in the deck and literally the very first game, I called out why it was good and then it happened. Go. Sometimes the eye drag can just lock on and snatch towers. Exhibit A. Nice. First game with eye drag. 10 minutes later, I upgraded some cards on my cheap account and finally reached level eight. That's it, right? Let's go. Level eight. Nice. Now I can open the king's level up chest. Come on. Give me something good here. Oh, what? Okay. I mean, it's probably guaranteed in the chest to be fair, but... Oh, probably not going to use that though. So six and a half hours in, I was already level eight on my cheap account. And on my $1,000 account, I was already level 10. And it wasn't until another hour of progress on my $1,000 account at seven and a half hours in where I was getting close to 5,000 trophies, where I finally strained to upgrade all the cards I could to get to level 11. 300 gold. What can we upgrade? Please, something. Okay, we can upgrade this. Let's go. Level 11. Yes. Holy, I forgot how OP these chests are. And a final legendary. Surely something good. Okay, doesn't matter. I kept pushing on my cheap account, and my last game before Electro Valley was one of the closest games of the whole stream. Oh, he's gonna lightning. Oh no. Okay, I need to somehow win here. <gasps> he used his log. Go. Go! Let's go! Oh my god, that was scary. I'm telling you, Electro Valley players are on another level. Just look at this first play I saw after getting there. Cool. We're in Electro Valley. What? What? I don't know what to say. That was strange. I then continued for another hour and quickly pushed through Spooky Town and finally reached 4,000 trophies on my cheap account in just under eight hours. GG. Three corn achieved and we got it. 4,000 trophies. Let's go, baby. And on my $1,000 account, I reached 5,000 trophies in seven and a half hours. So it actually took 30 minutes less and I had 1,000 trophies more. That shows the power of the strongest card in the game, the credit card. Let's go. We did it. Leave Leagues only took a thousand dollars. Yes, I'm so happy as well because KFC got no home made it using code KFC, of course. <sighs> Guys, subscribe, please.